Welcome. Setting up a COVID dedicated hospital. Turning a medical college hospital to a COVID care center. Model set by Government Medical College Ernagulam. A Kerala model. An in hospital control room is set up to function as a nerve center of all COVID activities in the hospital. It works 24 7 under the control of nodal officer and assistant nodal officer manned by house surgeons and postgraduates. Control room should ideally have CCTV monitoring of entry gates, triage, donning and doffing areas and isolation wards. All patient and sample movement to and from the hospital is monitored by the control room. Suspects are brought to the hospital in an ambulance in coordination with the district control room and are screened by the security personnel according to instructions from the control room. The COVID triage is managed by two junior residents, two nursing staff and two assistants in four-hour shifts. Here, the patient data is collected in a preset triage form and is communicated in real time to be entered in a COVID database. All those who are attending triage OPD are categorized as per guidelines. Those requiring IP care are sent to isolation rooms. Others are sent home, advising home quarantine and given an exit seal. Isolation ward is managed by a physician, assisted by nursing staff in shifts spanning four hours. Each patient is given a separate room with washroom facility. They are provided with essentials, food and clothes on a daily basis free of cost. Isolation rooms are cleaned once in four hours. Infection control team takes ward rounds on a daily basis. Isolation block has donning and doffing areas where only one medical personnel enters at a time. Patients are shifted for CT or MRI in an ambulance with the patient and attendees in PPE. Daily Medical Board, chaired by the head of the institution, takes decisions regarding treatment of individual patients according to the latest guidelines. Care of mental health and appropriate counselling is provided by psychiatrists to all patients. Samples collected are sent to designated virology laboratories within 24 hours. Patients are discharged when two consecutive samples turn out negative. All ambulances involved in the transport of patients are disinfected in the area designated for the same. Emergency OT, dialysis, cath lab, labor room, neonatal care and blood bank services are provided for COVID patients and suspects. In the likely event of trauma, a non-COVID patient is stabilized and referred to the nearest government hospital. Routine dialysis facility is being continued for non-COVID patients. In view of increasing caseload and probable community spread, we have implemented the idea of compact sample collection kiosk, the walk-in sample kiosk or WISC, by which cheap, rapid and resourceful collection of samples is possible in large scale.